Yeah, I guess it's Mylon Bogdan here. I'm here to talk about the Seavers Audio uh, speakers. Seaver Audio, they make these uh, really incredible speakers I saw the other day at Soundcheck. But I, I really love these speakers. The, the, the idea behind them is, is brilliant. The, you don't have a cabinet, so this eliminates the cabinet resonance. It also, since they're randomized, in other words, the sound coming out of these speakers is not a point source. It's kind of random. I thought of this idea probably 10 years ago the problem was I never could figure out how to make it work but these people have figured it out this by the way eliminates the feedback pretty much completely you can stand in front of the speaker you know a foot away and the mic will not feed back the other fact is it's almost a flat panel so what happens is you could take this on, on as front of front of house goes we could sandwich these things together and pull up 10 20 30 of them all at one time to me this would eliminate one or two semi trucks off the road, which is going to—that's a big problem today. Trying to move semis, people, a lot of heavy gear. You need, uh, you know, high lows to get these big speakers off. You got to put them up one at a time, bringing them up with a chain fall. I mean, the, the whole idea behind this is, is brilliant. They're bright enough to work in a live situation because of the inverse square law. They're—they're uh, they're not heavy. Um, so there's a lot of advantages to this. How they ever figured it out, I don't know. But it's it's a brilliant design, and I think this is the future of, of live PA. Maybe even uh, studio work because of the problem. When you're building a control room today and you want to get, uh, get the sound accurate, you pretty much have to build a concrete wall to put the speaker in to stop the resonance from going all over the room. And, and th the fact that they are random means that the, it's not a point source, so it's moving all the time, and this is what stops everything from feeding back and also creates a, a, a it has actually a point source sound still. It's pretty mind-boggling. Yeah. What's even more amazing, since it's, it's not a point source style system, in other words, it's just not one driver coming out and it, it seems random, you would think that the, that the sound quality wouldn't be there, you wouldn't have a distinct image, but it is there surprisingly it, it's very very accurate I found the mid-range to be extremely pleasing to me that's where it needs to be there's plenty of high end the symbols aren't distorted and and uh, the fact too there's that, that like you don't hear any slew rate style distortion which sometimes mostly comes from the amplifier and sometimes the speakers are not that accurate but uh, this system is very nicely uh, flat where it needs to be and you could actually mix on them so clear for me, playing in front, no feedback. I mean, I loved it. What about you, Christopher? Did you love it? I loved it. How much did you love it? I loved it so much, I want to do it again. Why did you love it so much? The quality is great, from vocals all the way down to lead guitar to bass, and I can hear myself, which is always great for a drummer, because you know, we normally set the volume level or we have to follow somebody else, so all around sound was excellent. That's amazing. What about you, Jack? One word, perfection. Perfection. It's big time. Brother. thought it was great being a guitar player, be able to hear everything and not just myself or what's on that same side, so it was great. All positive stuff. This is Russell Wolf in Nashville, Tennessee, and I just saw the most amazing new speakers. I first I heard them. I walked into the room, I get into this big room, and I hear this sound, and I'm thinking, this is a recorded disc, this is a well-produced record, a Grammy-winning record, and then I look, and it's the guy sitting next to me who's playing, so it's really amazing clarity and detail on these things and the power when they crank them up is unreal uh, so what happened next is I get on stage with this artist Peyton Parker who I'm producing and we're playing with the full band and we're in front of the speakers not far in front no feedback whatsoever great bass response I said I want these in my living room which is really you know it's an indulgence but I must have them
these speakers are like to speakers what flat screen was to full screen TV. Yeah, exactly. And yet, they're so much more crisp and they don't feed back. It's crazy. It's crazy. Huh? Yeah. It's crazy. Choo 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 And I'll bring it up. Choo 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 And now I'm standing right in front of here. And mm -hmm. choo 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 One choo 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 So that's still there. Let's uh, call me the microphone in. Choo 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 That's proved the concept. I, I really love these speakers. The, the, the idea behind them is, is brilliant. 